But Mandar, hi, afternoon. It's really farmer all the way once again. Uh, any fresh trading opportunities here? Uh, uh, Aisha, good afternoon. See, as you said, Loris Labs has been doing uh, good in the intraday trade today and on the uh, short term charts also it is looking good. It's managed to break past the resistance at around uh, levels of 536, 540. So quite possibly in the next few days we could see the stock heading higher. Uh, a 5 to 10 percent up move in this stock is quite possible. Uh, so uh, uh, Loris Labs looks good to me uh, with a stop loss at around uh, 538. One can get into a long trade. Upside in this stock could be uh, the target should be around 5 with us Mandahar was a view on Reliance industry um, see it's not doing much uh, so if you look at the uh, intraday trade uh, then uh, uh, the stock uh, is trading more or less flat uh, around uh, 23.98 but if one has a long term view then uh, the stock is surely uh, good uh, so at these levels with a 2 year view one can surely accumulate the stop loss for the trade should be around 2200 and I say this because uh, recently itself in the month of September the stock has generated a breakout after a good kind of consolidation of 6-7 months and uh, uh, has an upside target of 2800 to 3000 uh, so therefore one can accumulate at these levels 2200 should be the stop loss upside target 2800 to 3000 the time period for this view is uh, minimum two years right uh, Mandar, you know slowly and steadily if you look at sun pharma that's also a stock uh, you know which is going to a 52 week high now it's become 340 suddenly starting to take the lead in pharma last year when pharma did well this did not participate you think there is a lot of interest over there even spark which is a group company of sun pharma is up six percent today uh, yeah, see, uh, uh, in the pharma pack, Sun Pharma has surely been doing good and uh, this uh, uptrend that we are looking at uh, has been there for the last uh, two to three weeks. Uh, and if you look at the uh, uh, slightly longer chart, uh, say uh, a six month chart, then you'll find that the stock has been trading between a range 750, 740 has been a support and on the upside 840, 850 has been a resistance. So multiple times the stock has uh, gone to the support levels, has bounced back to the resistance again. Uh, see, the interesting part would be uh, once the stock manages to break past this resistance at 850. So once that happens, the stock is going to head higher. Uh, uh, the uh, the levels like 900, 920, 960, 9,040, uh, these levels would get activated once this breakout happens. So uh, with a short term view, uh, say for today and tomorrow, I think the stock is heading for this uh, resistance, uh, the current range that it trades in. So 850 should be the target uh, today and tomorrow. Once 850 50 breaks then yes an investment view can be taken in which case uh, the upside of uh, 15 to 20 percent of upside thereafter is quite possible. Mandar just wanted to understand from you as to what trends are you seeing so far in terms of rollovers for the next series. Aisha, uh, the kind of flat trade that we are witnessing right now, I think this is going to be, uh, uh, this is also going to shift to the next week. So it's not that uh, we are going to have uh, some surprises uh, coming up in the next week. I think this kind of a flat trade will continue. And the next big trigger that the market would wait uh, to see and then decide the trend would be the earning season that I believe starts in the next 10 days. So therefore, uh, uh, for now, I, I'm not expecting... Uh, uh, any kind of big kind of rollovers happening or uh, big kind of moves happening in at least index stocks or FNS stocks, uh, the flat kind of a trade is going to continue. Uh, Mandar, I'm coming to you uh, next. I just want your view on metal counters. And uh, this is a sector I think that is uh, underperformed in the recent past. Today it's down about a percent or so. I'm talking about the pack as a whole. But in that context, how do you look at ferrous, non ferrous? Uh, how do you look at, for example, a Hindalco that is currently trading at 454, which is about 100 uh, rupees or so away from its 52 week high? If you look at the if you look at the metal pack, uh, uh, the stocks have been going through a correction, and this correction uh, is after the kind of an up move uh, that we have already witnessed. So in the last one and a half years, these stocks have performed very nicely. So if you look at Hindalco, uh, the stock from levels of 85, 86 went up to make highs of 550, and therefore uh, the consolidation that the stocks are going through for the last two months. Uh, so at current levels, I think the upsides are limited. So 
if it, if the stock manages to go to levels of 450 460 470 it is going to face resistance there is going to be profit booking and uh, uh, quite possibly downsides of 430 410 that's also possible so not major kind of downsides there is positive undercurrent no doubt about it but the upsides are limited for these stocks so uh, this, uh, this is the case for hindalco the same is for tata steel as well uh, which in uh, in the last one and a half two years has witnessed an up move from 250 to 1500 levels that's a strong kind of an up move and therefore the co correction that we are witnessing so levels for tata steel are 1150 is the resistance immediate resistance and on the downside uh, support is around 1075 to 1050 so that's the current range for these stocks no major kind of downsides expected but yes these stocks will consolidate between these levels for now Hmm. Tata Steel certainly uh, trading below its 200-day uh, 200, uh, 200 moving average and uh, you have Hindalco that's trading below its 100-day moving average at this juncture. Thanks so much for giving us that view. Mandar as well, thanks so much for joining in and for sharing your views.